Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here. One of our new ship, the Starborn Runner, as you all are probably getting right now through the new expedition that's going to be out for the next few weeks. But this doesn't mean we can't be doing our anomaly mission. So let's go ahead and get started and see what's present at the anomaly today. The place is very empty right now. But of course, that's also because multiplayer is turned off. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, very funny. All right. Friendly products. Friendly products? Hmm, interesting. Uh, welcome new, many new friends into their anomalous home, some sheltering here longer than others. Iteration Mercury has requested an away team to collect a number of exotic products they require for an undisclosed purpose. Interesting. No participants. It looks like it says to collect five Hadal cores. So we're going to go ahead and start this mission and get ourselves moving right now. All right. Very weird. I wonder if that's going to change any. Hadal cores are not that difficult to get if you know where to look. So let's get started. So obviously we're using our new ship as well. And off we go through the hyperspace lanes. In order to find out where we're ending up at, it's going to be very interesting. Hope you all are enjoying the expedition. And uh, yeah, it's been quite the, quite the run through. It is such an actually lovely and relaxed expedition with the exception of having to kill 25 sentinels, of course, but that's besides the point. Other than that, it's been excellent. So since Hadal cores are usually gathered from under the ocean, I'm going to guess that that's not the world we're going to. There it is. <laughs> ocean planet is detected. Where? Give me an item. Give me an icon. Oh, look at that. Search for the target system across the galaxy map while in the starship. Does that mean I have to look for this planet myself? Let me take a look here. It's definitely not it. Okay, I guess we are going to have to look at this ourselves. So let's take a look and look for the planet. There's one right there. Doomed Jade Planet. It's got emerald here, so we're in a green system. But I can see there's water there. Let me just take a look around and see if that, what else there is. Uh, definitely not it. Uh, that's a moon, but I don't think it has any water on it either. It's a desert moon, so that's definitely not it. We already know that this isn't it. That's a solid green marble over there. That can't be it. That could be, but I think it's just going to have to be this world over here. Where'd it go? It's over here. Wow, this is crazy. This is the first time I've ever had a mission where we had to find the planet on our own. Let's see. Doomed Jade Planet. Now, I'm going to try something. It says to search the galaxy real quick. Let me just see what happens here. No. Nope. Nope, we're in the system we're supposed to be in, it looks like. Let me just check. No, it's telling us to go to another system. Okay, well, I guess we got to go to another system then. Let's go ahead and head to the other system. That's the first time I've ever had it give me a mission where you had to go to a different system than the one it told you to go to. Fascinating. So I have to use my own warp system to get there. Wow. Okay, that's new. That's definitely new. Okay, ocean planet detected, and it must be this one. Yep, look at that. I don't think we have to go to that exact coordinate, so let's just head for the atmosphere. And once we enter it, it is specifically wanting us to go over there. Fascinating. Okay, so there's the second part of this that we've just learned. Wow. It really wants us to go right here. Okay, well, looks like we have a crashed freighter here. So the trick is, for a crashed freighter, you can land on this abutment sticking up right here. Anybody can do it, just get your ship lined up properly. Okay, so we have to go down here first, it looks like. So I'm going to head down. Target planet reached. 
Let's just see if it really does need us to do something here. I don't think we have to talk to this. Let's just check it anyway. Log damage, partial records, read log, date stamp, crew mu speak of mutiny. Huh, let them try. Let them see how I earn my position as the greatest commander this. Gunfire mixed screaming. Okay. <laughs> we hung their heads from the lamps above the canteen. Everyone has seen them. Everyone is complicit now. There is no turning back. Where next? The whole universe awaits. Okay, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, we're not going to be talking to them much. All right, so what we're looking for, if you look around, there's really not much to see here. You got a lot of these things, like the armored clams and stuff like that. You got some fish, obviously, uh, things along those lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head upwards towards our ship, but we're going to go on the other side of the abutment that we landed on, and we're going to look for the Hadal cores. Now, you can get them one of two ways. You can look for an alluring specimen and gather them from the... It's almost like the fruit of the plant below. And I'll show you what one of those looks like when we get there. Let's just go ahead and surface. Sooner or later we'll get to the surface. The surface is close. There we go. Depth 4.8, 3.0. Okay, we're at the surface. So if we look down below, we see how it directs us to this alluring specimen. So this is what happens. I'm going to make sure, and I suggest you do the same, that you have a weapon handy. So you can use, in this case, I'm going to use either the Neutron Cannon, which is pretty powerful by its own right, or I'm going to use something else. But we'll see. Now this alluring specimen appears to be under here. Let me see something here. In a cave, maybe? I'm going to show you another place you can find them. Yeah, so we're going to have to go straight down to find this thing. So let's dig through. I'm sure there's a cave entrance someplace, but we're going to use a terrain manipulator and blast our way through. Try not to blast too close to it. Just like anything else, like going into a cave, you've got to be careful. Okay, so here's the alluring specimen. These are what these plants look like, but when you, when you take care of them, or you take what they have, you can release a beastie from under the water. See? He's up there, but he's out of reach because we're under a cave. So we're going to take advantage of it. And we're going to gather all five. Oh, he's angry. But he can't get me. But he's going to soon. But I'll show you the other area in a minute. We're going to show you what this guy looks like. He's angry. He can't get out. <laughs> you can see his jaws there, right? I'm going to free him so you can see what he looks like. Except I can't seem to free him. Oh, yeah, we got to do this. <laughs> this is incredible. I can't seem to free him. And there's an abyssal horror over there. Oop, did he finally make it out? Well, I don't think he'll ever make it out of there. So he glitched out. So one other thing you can look for, I'll keep looking while we're waiting for him to figure out how to get out of there, are these little two-star submerged relics. And we'll show you what these look like here in a minute.
these little round discs. As you gather one of these up, you will also get a Hadal core, as you can see. So, just keep that in mind that you can get them that way so you don't have to go after the Abyssal Horrors. Alright, so we're going to head back to our ship now. I'd love to have shown you what he looked like, but... Yep, he glitched into the, uh... Into the actual dirt itself. And then gave up after a little while. So. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna head for the depot that it directed us towards. Let's go that way right now. Four minutes away, I think we'll take the shortcut. Gotta get lined up just right. Except I'm out in space, but it doesn't want to recognize the fact that I'm out in space. Alright, let's see if we can get there this way. Guess we're going to take the long way out. Lots of strangeness going on with this whole mission. Now I'm beginning to wonder what every mission's going to be like on uh, Fridays. And whether they're all going to be kind of strange like this. Here we go. Now, is this an approximate location? It is an approximate location. Alright, so we should find something here. Scan. Ah, that might be it. Let's see what it turns out it is. Ah, yep, yeah, that would be it. Landing platform. And you see what happens sometimes when things glitch out a little bit. It's very strange what is happening here. I don't know what's happening. This is very, very weird. It's like it's having trouble recognizing because the, the color of the planet is different. I don't think it recognizes the fact that it was a real landing pad because it wasn't turning green as it should. All right. We're going to get back in here. It's very strange stuff going on. Get back to our trade terminal. Delivery lockbox prepared. Ac accessing. This must be Polo Secure Lockbots. I should deposit the item and register my delivery. Five Hadal cores delivered. Success. So now we just have to head back to the anomaly. And off we go. That was very strange and a weirdly colored planet to begin with, isn't it? Okay, let's pull in our anomaly and here we go. And that'll give us our 1800 Quicksilver, which would be really nice. And as you know, in your new expedition, you can get a lot of Quicksilver. About 3,000 Quicksilver will be made available to you during the expedition. So, And you can play it as many times as you want. You can play it on your main save, but you can only do it one time on your main save. Keep that in mind. Okay. Back at the Nexus. We should get our reward. And there it is. Complete. And you get some frigate fuel as well. So 1800 Quicksilver, 200 tons of frigate fuel are yours. And if we check here at the creating exotic... We don't have any extras that we can purchase at this time. However, most of that stuff has become available as Expedition Rewards or as Twitch Rewards. So if you're not getting your Twitch Rewards, log into someone playing on Twitch who has drops enabled. And you can get the drops each and every day. Today, for three more hours, it's just three hours you get them. Uh, tomorrow for the same, Sunday and Monday. Be aware of that. Watch your favorite one on Twitch and you'll be able to get those rewards. I'll be streaming as well on YouTube, so stop by and say hi. All right, folks. That is the end of our Anomaly mission for Friday, February 16th. And we thank you very much for joining us. Please hit the like and subscribe, and we'll see you again next week in the next mission. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.